play your special teams today? What impact they have on the game? Well, obviously big. I thought that Barry kicked off well, we were not that, except for the fact that the one kickoff, the one return they had, which uh, they did a good job. They picked up the way we were covering. And, uh, but yeah, we've improved. Ferris getting better. We're, we still have a ways to go, but we're getting a little better. Jody, did you get an explanation on the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty after Powell's kickoff return? <laughs> the guy's downstairs. I didn't get to it, but I know what he called. He, Powell threw the ball up over his head. You're supposed to hand the ball off. You know, you're not called, not supposed to call attention to yourself. Uh, what a tough call. But theoretically, it's one they're supposed to call. Okay, is that it? <laughs> your defense, this is three times now, your defense has really come through in the last minute or two to hold on and win a game. What can you say about the effort of those guys at the end against Temple, Indiana, and, and this one? Are you gonna say what are you gonna report what I say or are you gonna report what you think? I thought the defense played well. I thought Purdue was a good offensive football team coming in. Uh, you know, they the only game really I thought that they really didn't do much offensively it was maybe a Notre Dame game. But Notre Dame played a heck of a game against them that day. I thought that uh, you know, uh, I, it was a good, tough football game. I mean, they're all going to be tough. They're not, they're not easy. The, the league's well balanced. Uh, maybe there's one or two teams that are a little bit better, better than everybody else. I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we got to play one or two of them, and we'll see what happens next week. we got to go to Chicago and play a, against a team that's extremely well coached. <coughs> Uh, but uh, you know, we we just gotta keep keep trying to get better, you know, and uh, be able to make some plays in the clutch, which I think our defense has done, as you mentioned, not only this one but a couple of games. Joe, what's been the difference in winning games as close as you have been this year? <laughs> Score. <laughs> Well, I, I, you know, you, we were in it, and we, we, we made, you know, we've made it tough for ourselves. We, we had a couple of, uh, we, we got to eliminate some penalties. We got to do a couple of things, you know. But I think uh, the kids have got a lot of. They, they, they work hard. They practice hard. They're a good bunch of kids. They want to win, and I think that they have enough poise. And again, again, I think you got to give the assistant coaches some credit for you know staying with the game and uh, keeping us in the game, and then making some plays uh, or at least calling some plays defensively and, and offensively that uh, have made it possible for us to win a couple of close ones. Hey, hey Joe, how much does loss of boy affect your offense? I missed that. I'm sorry. How, how much? How much does loss of boy affect your offense? Really, I, that's a tough question. I just don't know. I, you know I, it, everything affects it. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, you get out there, Purdue comes in, they're, they're, you know, they played well. well. I thought Purdue played really well. If I had a criticism, I didn't know whether we tackled as well as we've been tackling. Uh, we may have emphasized the pass too much. Or, you know, I, I don't know. You guys ask me, uh, and I know it's uh, something you want to know, but I just don't have the answers until I get a good look at some things. Joe, do you think you're fortunate at this point to be 6-1? and one? Is that accurate? <laughs> you know, anytime, anytime you win a game, I feel fortunate. Yeah, I think... Uh, with, but I think that would be taken away from the kids. I don't think I can say 
I think you just said it. Do I think I'm fortunate or they're fortunate? I think that we have a bunch of kids, as I said, have worked hard. They've uh, worked hard since we came back from Florida. When uh, we got that good licking from the University of Florida, we came back and we had a little prayer meeting and kids had a good winter. As I, I'm repeating myself, but had a good winter. Had a good spring practice. Uh, a lot of them stayed up, most of them stayed up here all summer to work out, and we had a good preseason, so uh, fortunate, yeah, fortunate that we got a couple of bounces, uh, unfortunate that we made a couple of games closer than they should have been, because we made some mistakes, but I think, uh, that, yeah, I, I just want to enjoy this one. I'm gonna worry. I gotta worry about going out to Chicago next week. Joe, to follow up Ryan's question, how do you think the passing game did overall? How did the receivers do filling in for Moy? Well, I thought the receivers did a good job. I, I don't. I think again, you gotta give Duke credit. We didn't. I didn't think our passing game was great, but uh, they had taken a lot of things away from us, and then we finally got started to throw the ball over to the fullback and a couple. Of so, but, uh, you know, we had, we, we, we've been trying hard, really hard, to make sure we can run the football when we got to get in a tough ball game. And uh, we did that fairly well today. And I, I think that, again, I hate to take anything away from the other guy because they really came after us defensively. The, the scheme was tough. Uh, so it, it uh, uh, Joe, you ended up uh, down front. You ended up in the booth today. What went into your decision that today that you were in the booth? <laughs> Last week in the first half, you know, the kids were trying to save me from getting run over, and in the process, they grabbed me and and I'm fighting that. So it's almost like all over again. I'm, so my my leg hurts, and my I'm having trouble with my my uh, hip. Now you know nothing serious. It's just that you know I'm getting to be a sissy in my old age. Yeah, I am, and I'm fighting the cold. But uh, I, I just thought it would be better if, if, if I can't move around down there. I, you get in the way. You know, everybody's wondering where is Paterno, you know, where's Coach? And that, that's not fair. The kids got, you know, it's, it's. so anyway, I decided I was going to stay upstairs this one. And I, I think next week I'll be back on the sideline. Hopefully. Joe, can you, I'll wait for you. Can you talk about your thoughts on 4th and 1 going for it, on 4th and 1 at the end? At the end? Well, if we had, if we, even if we had kicked a field goal, that only put us eight points ahead. A touchdown and a two points ties the game. If we make that much, the game's over because they don't have any timeouts left. So, in, you know, it's in one of my brilliant moves I made a decision to go this far. And if it hadn't gone that far, I would be killing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the fi field goal wouldn't, uh, at that stage, would not have won it. It would have just put us eight ahead, eight ahead which would have put pressure on them, obviously. But they could have scored, and they could have could have gone for two, and tied it, and then we're in overtime. Joe, why is it you think this team doesn't get the respect that maybe other 6-1 and one teams across the country might, have, might get? Well, you guys would have to answer that question. I know. You know, you start, what happens, I think, and again, I'm not sure I know what I'm talking about on this thing, is that they, they, people start out voting for certain guys. And I've never liked that. I don't even, I don't vote for the coaches' poll. I haven't voted in the last six, seven years, because when the year I thought Auburn should have been one or two, I voted. For them on two, and the, the coaches poll, they all got upset with me. The, the head of the American Football Coaches Association said, You got to vote for one of the other. I forget the two, two, two or three teams. 
And I voted for two or three teams as number one. Because I, I said, I, I, how, how do I know who's number one? That was before we had the PCS team play. So uh, I think it starts off with where you start and uh, you go from there. Uh, you know, there's plenty of time. We get plenty of opportunities to, uh, to find out how good we 